Hi, I'm Jeff, and you want to add to the thesaurus in Microsoft Word. Uh, now, there may be two, one of two things you're looking for here, and uh, I'll try and address each one. If you actually just want to update the thesaurus, that's actually not hard to do. The thesaurus in Microsoft Word is built in. It's like a thesaurus that you would read, an actual book. I've said the thesaurus so many times at this point that I'm actually getting a little tongue-tied, but I could probably find another word for it. Is there another word for the thesaurus? Not sure. Now, if you go up here and do Tools in Microsoft Word and go to Research, it's going to open up the Research pane. This uh, gives you all your kinds of uh, dictionaries and thesauri and the things that you need if you're trying to figure stuff out. Actually, it also works with other languages too, which is kind of nice. I'm going to go down here to the bottom of the pane, and I'm going to click Research Options. And I've got my thesauruses here. And I'm going to click Update, Update Remove. And uh, I've got my thesauruses selected, not my translations, but my thesauri. And I'm going to hit update again. And it says services were updated successfully. That means that we have the most up-to-date thesaurus. Uh, the words that we're going to look for there, synonyms, antonyms, they're there. We're set. No problem. Hit close and close again. And you can even hit the little X on the research pane to get rid of that. And you're set. Now, if you actually want to make sure that Microsoft Word knows words that you're pretty sure are real, but it keeps saying you're misspelling or you're using wrong or anything like that, you can actually take care of that while it's checking your spelling and grammar. I've got my letter here, and I'm going to ask uh, Microsoft Word to go ahead and check my spelling and grammar up in Tools, Spelling and Grammar. Uh, I'm going to uh, ignore these. I've written these the British way, so that's okay. I'm going to ignore once, ignore once. Now, this is a street name, Peck Ender. That's, that's a street name. It doesn't know it. It thinks it's, I meant two different words, Peck Ender, which I didn't. I meant the street name. So all I have to do is click right here, Add to Dictionary. And now it knows that that one is a word. Next time I try and spell check it, it's going to go right by it. It's going to say, no, no problem. I know that's a word. Um, if you want to get rid of that, though, uh, you can actually decide, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to be using Peck Ender a lot anymore. I'm not writing to this guy anymore. Don't have to worry about it. Get it out of my dictionary. So if I actually mean to write Peck Ender and forget the space, word catches me. Go back into Tools of Spelling and Grammar. And you go to Options and click Custom Dictionaries right here. You can see I have my custom dictionary right there. I'm going to modify it. And you can see that I've added the word Peck Ender on this list. A few others too. I'm not even sure where they came from. That's OK. We can delete Peck Ender. Hit OK. Hit OK. Hit OK. And hit Cancel to get out of the spelling check. And it's gone. We don't have to worry about Peck Ender being a word anymore. Now if I use Peck and Ender, They'll be okay. It's not going to correct. It's not going to try and correct me, but it will now correct, correct Peck Ender back to Peck Ender. I'm Jeff, and this is all about adding to the thesaurus on Microsoft Word.